Hi viewers, you are watching Soft Demi, a project controls and engineering software academy. Our today's content is based on Microsoft project filter, predecessor and successor based on task path function. Also, we will discuss about how can we use task inspector and other functionality by using macros and other techniques. So in today's video, I will tell you how can we filter out our driving predecessors in Microsoft project. We can create a ma macro to filter activity based on task path function. First of all, we can see our project, this project having more than 1800 activities. You can see it by going below. So how can I will find out my driving predecessors and how can I filter in the project? Because when we do some recovery schedule and when we place any uh, thing in between critical path or longest path, so we have to reduce our path. So we need a filter that shows us that what is our driving predecessor in Microsoft project. So here we will go in the in the view and we will create a macros. So first of all, I will show you in the Gantt chart, there is function called task path from where when we select an activity and like I select this one, this one is a milestone. So make sure that when you are checking for the driving predecessor, so you will select a milestone. That's easy because milestone drags all the activities between the previous driving predecessors. So here when we select here driving predecessors, so it will highlight all the activities between them. So I will go here, I will jo go and zoom that one and I will zoom the entire project so I can see the activities that are that are between that one. So these are highlighted. So you can see these one highlighted activities. I will go here in the task and in the Gantt chart, I will ju show just Gantt chart here and then you can see the highlighted activities from there. Right click here. We will go here, right click here, zoom here and entire project. So this project is very huge. So we, we cannot easily determine that one. So here when we click here and when I click here, go to Gantt chart format here and task path and I will just drive in predecessor. So you can see this is selected, highlighted. So it's showing us you can see this, this orange lines, this orange line activities all are driving predecessor from this activity. So we will filter that one. We will apply a filter on it. We will apply a filter on it. That filter will be work from here. So how we will apply the filter? We will go in the micros, macros. We will go in the visual basic and we will create a macros here. I have already created and I will just remove the already created macros and in the project global, I will just click and right click and insert a new module. In the new module, I will paste here my macros code. So my macros code, where is my macros code? I will go here on the, my website. This is Microsoft. This is www.softedemy.com. This website, you can find out this code. So from here, we will copy so you can find that link you can visit at www.softedemy.com Microsoft project filter driving predecessor you will copy this one I have given this link below in my video you will copy that one and paste into your address bar here and then you will find this article and you have to just copy this this code from here from here you will select hold the code from here to the bottom and sub so you will just copy this one all the black window add the following code and just you will copy this one and go here in the Microsoft project and in the visual basic and just press press control V when you press control V you will add all the codes here and then we press cross close this one and just press the save from here or control S when you save this one and when you cancel this one, you can go in the macros and view the macros. You will find all the macros. So what is the condition? Well, you when you will selecting an activity and applying a task path filter on it 
and then you can use these macros. You can press this run. So I have selected this one, but what I have selected this one and I will go here in the Gantt chart format in the task path and you have to first select the activity. Then you have to highlight this one driving predecessor, only one driving predecessor and then you have to filter this one all. To do that one, to do that or to complete that one, so you will go here, view, first of all, you will just go here, select an activity. For example, I select this activity and then, and this one marks should be driving predecessor. You can see this one or in line and then we will go here in the view and in macros, I will go in the view macros and only applying driving predecessor filter, I will press run. So when you press run, so you will say no to highlight only. So you will find all the activities which are under that one, these orange lines. So can you see all the activities has been filtered. You can see all the activities between that one, which I have selected the predecessor, all the driving activities behind that one are now you can see in the schedule all the driving activities, all the driving activities has been. So you can see in the filters marked tasks. So only marked tasks will be shown here. Can you see here? All the marked tasks will be shown. To remove that one, you will just go here and press no filter. So when you press no filter, all the activity will be again shown. Can you see here? All the activities are again showing here. You can see all the activities are here. So before that one, when I go here and then mark test. So in the mark test, you can see only the activities. Can you see the activities which are only driving predecessor from this activity? Can you see? Can you see this one? When I select this one, only when you select this activity, then this highlighted because in task path, in task path, I have selected driving predecessor. Only this activities driving predecessor will be highlighting at or in when you select the other activity, no other will be shown, only other activities driving predecessor will be shown or highlighted. So there is another function while you will remove this one to no filter and when you go here in the highlight, so you can highlight the activities in the rows. So mark task, for example, mark task, all the activities in this driven predecessor will be shown as marked. So you can see that yellow line. I will go here in the bottom. I will show you this one. Both are highlighted now. So when you use this one marked task filter on highlight, so it cannot be applied on filters. So you can see other activities. These activities are on also, also uh, these activities are also on driving predecessor of this activity. This activity I will show you from the top. So this activity is the main which driving all the predecessors. So you can see this one are highlighted in the orange. This one also highlighted in the orange. This one also highlighted in the orange. Thanks for watching Softy Demi. Our today's content have been finished now. Our article link has been given in the description or in comments. So you can go and see the article complete and find the macros from there. Also, you can see my WhatsApp number. You can see our other contents, our LinkedIn, Telegram, you can join our groups and also you can contact us through our email address info at the rate of softudemy.com and also you can contact us on our official WhatsApp number. So WhatsApp number has been given below in our description section. Also our other details, Facebook page and other details have been given. So any suggestion, any comments, any feedback, you can give us like and also you can press the bell icon for future videos and also you can give us suggestion for another video. We will waiting for your response. Thanks for watching Softy Demi. We will meet in our next video.